All right, Alan, it is the first of its kind since the start of the pandemic. The FBI conducting a raid in hazmat suits at a Shelby Township medical clinic. They're accused of using a fake treatment for coronavirus patients and even putting those patients in danger inside the clinic. The raid happened at the Allure Medical Spa on 26 Mile Road near Van Dyke. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is out there with more. It was a special setup for this raid with the FBI putting on PPE as they went inside this medical clinic with a search warrant, seeking medical records and physical evidence. The investigation includes allegations that the clinic provided fraudulent treatments for COVID-19 and that the clinic did not observe proper protocols to protect patients and staff from the virus. The FBI spokesperson would not say what specific treatment they were investigating, except to say it was on the clinic website. And we found this posting. We have been using intravenous vitamin C therapy to treat COVID-19 and non-hospitalized patients with great results. The founder of Allure Medical is Dr. Charles Moak, who was on Channel 7 promoting a book about helping women get through menopause with testosterone treatments. And we're trying to get the word out that this is a safe option for women. You don't have to suffer through symptoms of menopause. Mm -hmm. Our efforts to reach the doctor today were not successful. It's not known how many patients may have gotten the vitamin C COVID-19 treatment or how many patients may have been exposed to COVID-19 in the clinic. If any patients or staff have concerns about their health or exposure to COVID-19, we urge them to contact a trusted health care provider immediately. The marquee name on this building is McLaren Medical, but McLaren says the clinic just rents space. The FBI also has on the scene health and human services in what is called the first of its kind raid during the pandemic. And they're part of our health care fraud task force, so they're assisting us in this investigation. The FBI says this investigation continues. No one has been taken into custody. In Shelby Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you. When the